guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to another transfer daily now before the video starts don't forget to go down below the link in the description you can follow all our social media pages there we would appreciate it if you gave us a follow on all platforms be appreciated massively also we're so close to 6,000 subscribers now we're about 70 off so if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe to it now, the first bit of news I want to bring you is involving Slavin Bilic. He's joined some club in China on a two-year deal, I believe, as head coach. So, Slavin Bilic has actually got himself a new job. I just want to say, from the bottom of my heart, from all Albion fans, I'm sure, a massive thank you to Slavin Bilic for achieving promotion in the first season. You know, he, he went above and beyond. He got us into the Premier League, the Dreamland um, and he did it all in one season when he was expected to do it in two. Now, I love Bilic and I wish we hadn't sacked him, but I'm sure he'll do really well at this Chinese club. And I'm sure he'll be picking up a massive wage as well, which he deserves. So that's the first thing on the agenda. Massive thank you to Slavin Bilic. Um, now, the second thing is that confirmed news. Sky Sports are reporting that West Brom are in advance talks for Robert Snodgrass. Now... I'm not sure what to make of this one. The guy's 33 years of age. He's a Scotland international. Um, he hasn't really been playing at West Ham. He's kind of out of favour. But it does like, look like he will be the first West Brom signing of the transfer window. You know, any more the merrier in my opinion. You know, he's not that bad of a player. But he is old now. Um, I'm not too sure what to make of that one. Um, but I'm happy that we're actually looking in the transfer market and we're looking at making signings now the next one is sky sports one of the pundits has said that west brom are interested in danny rose um out of favor left back at tottenham good defender in my opinion but apparently there were several other clubs involved in you know catching his signature for me i think this one would be a good signing i believe we need a new left back i'm not sure on the condition of Townsend but Kieran Dibbs is very injury prone um, he gets a lot of injuries so it could be a, a good backup for him um, so Danny Rose is another player what West Brom have been linked with again like I say I think this one would be a good sign in in my opinion now the last bit of news is involving Joshua King now it seems like every single window we're getting linked with him but according to the Daily Mail West Brom are looking at bringing in Joshua King um Bournemouth striker, not a bad player in my opinion. I think he would fit the side very well. Now, it, it is coming after Carl and Grant is actually out for five to six weeks with a broken foot, I believe. Um, but hopefully more comes of this one because I do like Josh King as a player. He's very, he's very quick. He knows where the back of the net is and I'd be happy to see him sign. But guys, that is today's Transfer Daily. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.